All right, five minutes after eight o'clock. It's a little bit wet out there, but the weatherman says it's done. It's done. The rain is going to end right about now if it hasn't already ended where you are. And it looks like we have got a nice Friday in store. Highs today around 84. Highs tomorrow around 88. And look at this, Sunday, 89. So I'm going to go ahead and say 90. I'm just going to be the amateur weatherman who, who pushes the envelope a little bit, Robin. Nice. Uh, anyway, it looks like a nice weekend. If you're out and about tonight and you are, can get downtown and want to take a little stroll through our beautiful downtown area, mm-hmm. uh, stop and say hi. We'll be playing on the corner of Fort King and what's that corner? No, First Avenue. First Avenue right there by the sandwich shop. Well, the, <laughs> the a new chocolate shop. The chocolate shop the is right there. Confectioners. But which shop. we're not really in front of the chocolate shop. We're right next to it, and right. there is an old—not an old, but there's a new restaurant going up where yeah. an old restaurant used to be, right? Yep. And don't know the name of it yet. Yeah, I don't know the name. We're gonna be there. But anyway, they're not open yet, but they will be probably this month, I would guess, right? Yeah. Looks like they're almost done. So. And the theme for tonight's uh, First Friday Art Walk is Motown. Right. So there's going to be bands uh, at uh, Circles. Um, uh, Circle Square. What what is that called behind the city hall? Oh my gosh! I forget. Yeah, so right behind the city hall in that area, there are going to be bands. Uh, there's going to be performers on the square in the gazebo, and uh, so it's a, a Motown theme tonight. So they they like to have themes every month, and this is this month is Motown. The only Motown. I don't think a we, lot have, of fun. we don't have any Motown songs. I know. I thought in uh, no, oh. Stevie Wonder song. <laughs> oh, you could do that one. My Sharia Moore. Maybe that, that's our only one. Yeah. All right. I think that's Galen on the phone. Galen, is that you? Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are you all? Good morning. Hey, how are you doing? Doing well. Doing well. Yeah, it's Friday. Isn't it good? It does feel good, yeah. Is it raining Is it raining where you are? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm still in Ocala, and it's uh, sprinkling still. Have you ever had the unwanted erection? Have you ever had this happen to you? Uh, yeah. Well, there's a new pair Good of morning. Under- How are you? There's a new <laughs> pair of underwear. Yeah, there's- we're continuing our discussion. Well, there was a new. Lot. There was a story about an underwear that will help with this problem. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I'm. Uh, you know, at a certain point, you can control it, but. You know, if you're a- <laughs> well, I, you know, I teenager. sort of was thinking the same. I I was thinking the same thing. When you're younger, it's, it's more likely that you're going to buy those underwear. <laughs> it doesn't happen Absolutely. now to you guys. No. No, Galen says no. Yeah, Galen said no. Just take his word for it. I don't know. How, how would I know? Hey, Sears might be coming back. Did you hear that? Oh, I saw they were opening stores. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, they're opening. Well, it's a new, it's a new, uh, it's a new approach. It's a smaller store. It's kind of like the the small Walmart. They're trying to do a smaller approach. So. Well, they're going back to the way they started. Right, with the majority of their stuff online. Probably, and, yeah, uh, you're probably right. You know? Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that's right. Because they started out like a catalog, as a catalog. Exactly. Stock, right, yeah. Exactly right. Yeah. Wow, maybe I'll order a house. Remember, you could order a house from Sears, remember? Exactly, you could. You could. Yep. Yep, that was Just have to buy a piece of land, then just get a hammer, and I'll be on my way to making a mm-hmm. house. That's right. Right, right. What is, with the, what is with the wood framework on top of the, the hotel? Have I talked to you about this? Yeah. And any idea why they're doing it that way? Well, I, I, I said a lot of hotels would do that. Keep down the weight and the cost, and you just disagreed. I didn't disagree. <laughs> I said I never saw that before. Oh, okay. I haven't oh, either. That's fair. I yeah. asked my mom, and she said she's never seen that either. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, you're probably right. My family's in construction. Well, no, but, but I'm, I mean, Galen, your, your statement about the cost might be dead on. That might be what it's about. Mm-hmm. I don't know about the weight, though, because, uh, I mean, there's so many buildings that are su- support many stories, not just two. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. That was my guess. All right. I have, a, I have an interesting topic for you today. Are you ready? All right. All right. Yeah. You are in the business. It's not really a business. You are in the profession of um, depending on donations. You have to have donors. Otherwise, you cannot do what you do. Right? Correct. But yep. you only want one thing donated, just blood. That's it. That's all you want is blood. That's correct. You yeah. don't want me to bring my, my recliner? <laughs> no. All right? No. We've had people, oh, I can't drop off clothes? No, <laughs> no oh, way. My. Oh, really? Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, so anyway, the, the topic is uh, some of the interesting or weird donations that thrift stores have received. So I might be oh, fun. I'm sure this is a good one. Yeah, some of them are fun. <laughs> uh, the New York Jets are going to be donating their old uniforms. Apparently, they're, they got new ones yesterday. They're ugly. They look so much like their new ones or their old ones to me. So. The new ones look like the old ones? Yeah, but the helmet was white. Now it's green, right? Gotham green, you right, said. That's the only, yeah, that's the only difference. Well, they named it Gotham green. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that makes all the difference in the world. I know. It, it, to me, I know. It's one of those. It's it's kind of like a okay. Well, you just named it something. They, right. Exactly. I mean, nobody really came up with a new color. It's just a name. It's kind of like the Crayola Company. I got to come up with a new name. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> we can call it something. Gosh, I saw this guy. Yeah. What's the magician's name? David Blaine. Yes. Oh my gosh, he does this magic trick with. Uh, oh gosh. Cards. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a street magician. He's yeah. a street magician, but he, magician, but he did a, a, ma- a magic trick with a with um, Good Morning America. The guy, the the sta- who are the who are the people in Good Morning America. I can't think of one name. I can't either. But anyway, the guy who's the guy that left uh, Regis and Kelly. What, what was that guy's left? I mean, Regis was gone a long time ago. Kelly oh, and I, Michael. Yeah, Michael. Okay. Michael, somebody. Okay. Well, anyways. Michael Strahan. That's it. Thank, Thank you. you. So he has some Crayola crayons, apparently, with his face on them, on the box. <laughs> and uh, and this guy, uh, David Blaine, he does some kind of a magic trick, and, and uh, he tells Michael, what's his name, Strahan? Yeah. He tells him to think of a few different things, and then at the end he says, what color are you thinking of? And uh, he, <laughs> he says, indigo. So he says, well, look in the box, the, his own crayon box, okay? Mm-hmm. And Michael grabs the crayon box. There's only one crayon in it. It's and it's his crayon box. <laughs> and the only crayon is indigo. Isn't, isn't that, a, that was amazing. Isn't that a crazy trick? Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. So then he was complaining that you know the magician took all of his crayons. <laughs> so he sent him so. like five boxes of crayon. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. That was pretty funny. Uh, okay. I love fun stuff like that. Everybody's, you know, shows shows you how human you are. I'm, I'm a big fan of magic tricks. I, I I don't know why. I just like watching when somebody can do something crazy like that. We had a guy in the studio, Galen, and he sat at the, this is the old studio, and he had um, nothing. He had nothing in his hand, but he pretended to throw a pack of cards to me. He said, "Here, catch, or at least pretend to catch," and I did. He said, all right, now pretend to open up the box. And I did. He said, now pretend to pull out a card. And I did. Now pretend to memorize the name that you're looking at. And I did. He said, now put it all together and throw it back to me. And I did. He did whatever he did with the fake cards. And he told me three of hearts. And I said, what? (laughs) It was amazing. What? He's a cool magician. (laughs) (laughs) What? There weren't even any cards. Yeah, he's oh, a awesome. cool magician. I don't know how he did it, unless it was just one of those luck of the draw. Maybe maybe like 99% of the people say three hearts. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I try to find something obscure. I should do that trick just a bunch of times and videotape it every time. <laughs> and then as soon as I get one that's right, like he did with me, uh-huh. so look what I did. I guess, <laughs> I guess the card. There were no cards. That's the way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Just make sure you videotape yourself. It's kind of like the, the, the basket that people get. You know the, when they, they shoot a basket off the top of a building? Mm-hmm. Right? And they get it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And I wonder how many times did they do that? It makes it look like they did it one time. Yeah. Right? Yeah, dude, perfect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you think that's how they do that? They just do it as, and, until they finally get it? Oh, absolutely. They'll, they'll show you their misses sometimes. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. How is the uh, blood supply? We're kind of where we've been, actually, just right out of five-day blood supply. We're in emergency need of all uh, negative units, so O negative, A negative, and B negative. So just please come to the blood mobile and uh, give the gift to the wife and donate blood. All right, one new story before we get into our fun little topic, which has something to do with what you do. Um, let me find it here. It's about a young boy. I think he was eight. He is eight years old. Oh, where's that story? Oh, it must be in this other section. Um, Here it is. Uh, And uh, this is in Central Florida. An eight-year-old Orlando boy. Here it is. 
A patient needed a bone marrow transplant. It can take a long time to find a match, but for one family in Central Florida, a matching donor was right in their own home. This is the story of three siblings and a rare gift one of them gave to the other two. The Ahe family, I might be mispronouncing their name, is especially tight-knit and for a good reason. The youngest of the siblings, eight-year-old Stefan, donated his bone marrow to his big sister, I'm sorry, big brother, 22-year-old Kingsley, and his sister, 13-year-old Vanessa. The older children were born with sickle cell disease. Right. Um, a- anyway, so um, Kingsley received Stefan's bone marrow through a transplant last November and now is cured. Vanessa was given a transplant from Stefan a few years earlier and is also cured. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I, 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 I read this story. It is, and, and you've got to remember with marrow, um, the most likely donor is a sibling. Wow. Um, the least likely is a is a mom or a dad. Mm-hmm. So, it's um it's a it's a cool story and um I, yeah I need more of that especially with sickle cell. Yeah, and and you had for for a while there we were mentioning on, on an almost regular basis the importance of donating uh, tissue as well as blood mm-hmm. and 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 bone marrow is considered a tissue donation, right? Correct. Yeah. But, but the difference is bone marrow is tissue that you donate while you're alive. The other tissue is usually after you've died, right? Well, there's a lot of tissue now that you can donate while you're alive. You can donate an organ and oh, yeah, that's uh, true. all kinds of things. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's growing every day, so it's, it's kind of amazing. All right, well, anyway, I want to share that with you. He says, uh, the doctor, da- yeah. Dr. David Shook, said a bone marrow transplant is the only cure for sickle cell disease and has a 95% success rate. Correct. <clears throat> wow. But not every not every sickle cell patient is eligible for a bone marrow transplant. Oh, really? So that, that's what makes it pretty remarkable, yeah. Are there minors that are on the bone marrow donation listing? No, no, but once you have, once you have a sibling or something that's needs a blood, uh, uh, bone marrow um, transplant. The first place they look is the family. Is sickle cell uh, um, terminal? Is that, is that a disease that'll take you eventually? Can be, absolutely. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow, wow. All right. <clears throat> At least the heart disease or your organ shutting down or uh, it, it eventually causes your death. Yes. Right. At a very young age. Well, but we don't have a 20 after, do we? No, we do not. Oh, good. Okay. No, okay. no, we're good today. I double, triple checked. <clears throat> All right, good. All right, here we go. Some thrift. Oh, oh first of all, uh, how's the blood supply? Right out of five-day blood supply, Larry. That's pretty good, right? Yeah. We're in emergency need of uh, all RH negatives, so oh, A this. negative, O negative, B negative, and uh, platelets. Sorry, I guess we covered that already. Oh, Palm, Be- Palm Garden of Ocala. Second time I've said Palm Beach. I must want to go south, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Palm Garden of Ocala, thank you for sponsoring that important reminder that Galen gives us each day that there is only one way that we have a blood supply, and it's through donors, and those donors are you and me. There is no special group of people. Well, they are special in a way, but there's no, I guess, organized group. I'm not part of an organized group anyway. Yeah. We just show up. Have you had a group of people? Do they show up in groups, like a whole church? Hey, here yeah. we are. Yeah? Sure. Absolutely. That makes sense, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it'll be fun. Today's our blood donation day. Yeah. What's, Absolutely what's, right. What, yep. what is the largest group you've ever had that comes in at one time? Uh, it's usually small because after a certain size, we come to you, but not uncommon to have eight or ten people. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Uh, so thank you, Palm Garden. Uh, take a tour of Palm Garden. You'll see what they can do for you or a loved one in your time of need. Uh, they're at 2700 Southwest 34th Street here in Ocala. And Penn Flooring also sponsors Galen's daily announcements, so let's make sure we thank them as well. And take a take a moment to visit them. They're at 1201 Southwest 17th Street. Um, there you can see what kind of flooring they have so that you can make a decision about what you could do to make your home or office more beautiful from the floor up. By the way, I think it was last first Friday, right? Last month. Today's uh-huh. first Friday, so we're going to be yes. back there tonight. But last month we had a guy came up to us and tell, told us he listens to you every time we do this. And he, he specifically went into Penn Flooring to thank them for sponsoring this. So there you go. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that was wonderful. Thank you for doing that. All right, so so Life South is looking for donors of blood. 
They don't want your leftover anything. They just want your blood. <laughs> 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 However, there are thrift stores that get donations, so I have some odd ones. Ready? Okay. All right. This is um, the donation of a chair. And it was brought in and left on the loading dock, and uh, they went to lift it, and it turned out it was a toilet that was decorated to look like a chair. Oh, my. Right. So when they moved it, the, the water sloshed <gasps> out of it. Oh. And nobody touched it again until uh, the maintenance man came. Cool. Leave it to the maintenance man. <laughs> He's the brave one. No fear. <laughs> no, I'll touch that toilet. I don't care. Anyway, incognito toilet. That's not good. Uh, here's another one. Somebody brought a bunch of broken lumber and asked if they could donate it. Broken <laughs> lumber. A bunch of broken lumber. What the heck are you going to do with that? I don't know. Uh, one family donated clothing uh, in masses. They put them all into these giant black trash bags. One of those trash bags had garbage in it. Oh. <laughs> uh, That's not right. there, was, there was a gift in the garbage. It was part of a, a surprise that the father was doing. Oh, okay. So it wasn't all garbage. There was some toys in there, too. Oh. He just hid it. I see what he did. He just kept it in the bag and didn't realize it was taken he to the... He just thought he was being funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, okay. All right, the next one is uh, a bag of garbage. Another bag of garbage. One time a lady handed me a trash bag full of foil yogurt lids. Oh. And walked off. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Maybe she thought they were... Like aluminum yeah. or something. Yeah, I don't know. Recyclable? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this this one was a, a whole bag full of beheaded Barbies. Barbie dolls with oh. no heads. Oh. <laughs> okay. I hope they found out who had that bag because they had issues. Somebody brought in 37 shoes. None of them matched any of the others. <laughs> <laughs> 37 shoes. Let's see. Here's one. This is kind of lengthy. Let me read this one. I collect Cabbage Patch Kids, a type of doll that was popular in the 1980s, although they still make them today. I used to stop by the thrift store pretty often to check their toy section for Cabbage Patches, and one day I found a boy Cabbage Patch doll wearing a backwards dress that was so long in the front that it covered his feet. He had a cape on that matched the dress, which covered his feet from the back as well. He looked good, and even though the clothes were odd, more than 50% of Cabbage Patch dolls I find at thrift stores are naked. So any clothes are great. I actually spend far more on doll clothes than I do on dolls themselves. Anyway, I bought this little guy home and pulled his dress up to check the signature on his butt because I can tell by the color of the signature what year he was made. What I found freaked me out. The doll's legs were soaked in a dark red brownish stuff. It was clearly blood. Oh, I tried geez. to tell myself it wasn't blood, but I knew it was. I put the doll in the bathtub, put on some gloves, and started to scrub him. I got most of the blood out. I still have the doll, but he sits on the shelf. I don't want to touch him. Chucky. Oh, my gosh. What she, the heck happened there? She should have turned it into the police. Yeah, it was probably... Why would you keep it? Why would you keep it as right? And oh, my turn gosh. Turn it into the police. Wow. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be human blood. Correct. Yeah, but uh, they would have could have determined that. All right, next one. Hmm. There was a time when we received 120 round pieces of plastic. They were wow. blank CDs without cases. <laughs> 120 blank CDs without cases. Hmm. Congratulations! <laughs> you can make something from that, though. Yeah, people, people that create things. They, none of that stuff looks good. Anybody who's a crafty person, you're going to be mad at me. But, you know, Gail, have you seen this? Where people make, like, lamps out of old CDs? Yeah. They don't look good. Do you agree? They look horrible. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. I just made some people mad. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I make them, and they're not bad looking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, they're bad looking. You just haven't admitted it. <laughs> Do you know what I like at those craft stores, uh, craft shows? Those those uh, fountains that these guys make out of copper, those oh, things look yeah. kind of cool. They're right? very cool. Or out of yeah, stone. Those are awesome. Copper and stone. Yeah. Yeah. Out of yeah. my pay right now, but they look great. All right. Here's one. Um, this thrift store got a sacrament sack. 
Oh. It was a last rites kit for a priest. Oh. Wow. What's in that, Robin? Do you know? I have no clue because I'm not Catholic. Holy water? <laughs> he said he gave it to the nearby Catholic church. Just didn't feel right selling it. Wow. Well, good for There's them. There's a to kit for that? There. Well, I guess when you sure. go when you go to people's homes, I know the elders from our church, St. John Lutheran Church, they'll go to the homes and they'll administer the sacraments and they have the bread and the wine that they administer to the shut-ins. So I guess you could call it a kit, right? So what's I this? guess Sacra- you could call Sacrament it a sack, kit. yeah, yeah. I don't know. All right, the next, one, next one. One time we got a very old small trunk and one of the employees opened it up and screamed. There was an old doll lying inside and she thought for a second that it was a real child. It was a very realistic looking doll. Oh. Hmm. I'm not a fan of those dolls. You can send your child's picture in and then they'll <laughs> put your child's picture on a doll's yeah. face and I'm, I'm really not a fan of that. Sorry. Once we got an entire truck full of escargot, a food manufacturer had gone bankrupt and called us to help. They ended up sending shells of the escargot. Uh, Our truck team members had to stomp on them to fit them in the truck. (laughs) Oh, crack shells, crack snail shells. They dropped them off at a compost facility. Wow, I'm glad they did. Boy, boy. Those shells are big, though. When you have escargot, they are huge. One goodwill worker said we got a taser, a taser gun. <clears throat> oh, my. Did it work? Did they try it out? <laughs> a taser gun. Uh, another one, we got a, an entire U-Haul truck filled with owls. I assume that means... Not real owls. That's, I don't know. just says owls. Oh, my. Uh, this one, once we received a giant-sized set of tiki statues from the aquarium from Finding Nemo. Oh, how oh, cool wow. is that? Now that's cool. A giant-sized set of tiki statues. <laughs> that is cool. Uh, let's see. Um, somebody gave them a taxidermy alligator. Six feet long. <laughs> I can see that. A taxidermy alligator. <laughs> I had an alligator head for a long time. Yeah. Did you ever buy one of those alligator heads, Galen? No. Um, I mean, they were all over the place. My dog, my dog hated it or loved it. I'm not sure. I mean, when I bring that alligator head out, she would bark. <laughs> Remember? I bet. Yeah, she yeah. thought you were playing, though. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think she that's what's happy for her. <clears throat> All right, this group, this, oh, this is a good one. A group of taxidermied frogs that were posed as a mariachi band playing instruments. <laughs> because why not? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, this one got a, uh, a paper dress that was made from the yellow pages from a 1960s phone book. A dress, a full-size now dress. that's cool. That yeah. is cool. I had a paper dress one time. Did, did you? I liked it, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Here's another one. We came across a holy water dispenser that kind of looked like a fire hydrant. It said holy water with a tap at the bottom. A lot of times these things look ornate, but this really looked like something that would have been sitting on the counter at a speakeasy or a saloon. Oh. And if you needed some holy water, you just would grab it. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right. That's all the stuff we have for that one. That segment. Um, Gayla, where's the Bloodmobile today? Hey, Bloodmobile today. We're actually at the Wind Dixie down in uh, uh, Marion Oaks. So come by, see us. Get, get the bike. Of course, we're right there on the boulevard. So come by and say hello. All right. Take care of your voice and uh, enjoy your, your basketball this weekend. And we'll talk to you on Monday. Yeah. Sounds good. Hey, thank thank you guys for everything. We'll be right back. This is WOCA Ocala. Fox News. I'm Chris Foster. President Trump visits the U.S.-Mexico border in Calexico, California today. He'll tour the 30-foot section of replacement border fence installed last year and also participate in a roundtable with local law enforcement officials. Construction crews finished replacing the two and a quarter miles of fencing in Calexico in October, the first major replacement project at the U.S.-Mexico border completed since the president took office. Fox's John Decker at the White House. 
The British Prime Minister is asking to delay her country's withdrawal from the European Union. In a letter to European Union President Donald Tusk, Theresa May writes that it's frustrating. UK lawmakers still haven't agreed on how Britain's EU divorce should happen. She asks for Brexit to be delayed until June 30th. It's currently set for next week. One official saying President Tusk favours a flexible extension lasting up to a year. That's Simon Owen in London. This is Fox News. Ask yourself, if you built a van for your business, where would you start? At the beginning, of course, with the people who invented the work van over 100 years ago, Mercedes-Benz. You'd give your new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter advanced technology and safety to keep you connected and protected. You'd make it available in diesel and gas, and there would be thousands of configurations and upfits to choose from, because your one-of-a-kind business deserves nothing less than a van that's built for you. Introducing the all-new Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, the safest, most innovative Sprinter yet, starting at just 33,790. Built for you, the all-new Sprinter. Mercedes-Benz, vans, born to run. MSRP excludes all options, taxes, title, registration, transportation, charge, and dealer prep fee. Options, model availability, and actual dealer price may vary. See dealer for details about costs and terms. Equipment described as optional. Garden announces Fast Track. Fast Track, focused assessment, safe transition. When a new guest is admitted to Palm Garden, we start with the ABCs. A is the assessment to determine what the guest needs. B is for basic care, which is excellent nursing and therapy. And C is for consistency to provide what's needed throughout the stay. Fast Track, Palm Garden will get you home fast, really, really fast. Take a fast tour of Palm Garden located at the corner of Southwest 27th Avenue and 34th Street. Here is your one-minute news brief. An explosion rocked an asphalt plant in Leesburg early yesterday.